Hi there and welcome to another Being Smarter Advice Lit. I have been dying to put this together for you for uh, two or three weeks, just not got round to it. Um, it is literally one of the best shortcuts um, to getting uh, something really quite professional uh, out of it I, I've ever seen. Um, if you uh, take a look at what's on screen right now, I'm going to show you how literally in approximately 15 seconds uh, you can create your very own product shots as good as this on iPhones, on iPads, on iMacs, on PCs, on Androids, whatever it may be. Um, if you've got the screenshot, um, I can show you how to get them looking this good uh, in about 15 seconds. Um, there's no Photoshop needed, uh, no trickery, uh, no smoke and mirrors, it's, uh, it's for real. Um, and uh, I've been absolutely blown away with it. Uh, as long as I have uh, quite a few people who I've actually shown this to. Um, it's a tremendous tool and um, I'm going to show you um, how to get the most from it in a second. Um, so why would you want to do this? Well, because this sort of thing just looks professional, whether it be um, in a PowerPoint slide, uh, which is what we have here, um, whether it be on your website, whether it be in a brochure, um, whatever it is you're looking to produce, the, the more professional you can get your materials looking without having to involve the services of a designer uh, who's perhaps charging you know, 150, 200, 300, 400 pounds a day, um, the more you can actually do some of this stuff yourself and it still look good, um, then the better for you as a consultant or a coach. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we need to generate some screenshots. So whether it be your, um, uh, you know, your website, um, whether it be uh, your LinkedIn profile, as, as you see down here, um, whatever it may be, um, something you actually want to snap from uh, your uh, iPhone, your iPad, or your computer screen. I thought it'd be worthwhile just showing you how, if you've never taken a screenshot before on an iPhone, uh, this is it in action. This is how to do it. It's very, very simple. Uh, you find the screen that you're interested in, um, in snapping. You get that up on your screen. It doesn't matter whether it's an iPhone or an iPad. Um, and then you hold down the power button at the top and you press the home button. Um, as you see happening on screen. That little flash indicates a shot has been taken and um, that is then stored in your photos file um, in your, your, your photos app uh, within your iPhone. Now you could then go ahead and email yourself that photo which is a pretty standard way of doing it or um, and I really can't believe I only just sort of discovered the power of this if you install iCloud, uh, I'm showing you this on a, on a PC but you could of course install it on your uh, your Apple device as well. If you install iCloud, um, when you make a, a, a screenshot or when you take any photo for that matter, I won't show you my family photos which are higher up here, but they in seconds automatically sync on uh, your PC uh, or your Mac. Okay, So it's just a, a syncing device which is incredibly helpful because then suddenly you can start to manipulate these screenshots. Um, so here we go, this is, uh, this is the shot I took uh, a few moments ago. Uh, there's another one here, and we're going to play with these uh, in a second. Uh, okay, so we've got the screenshot that you need. You, it would work exactly the same on an iPad as well, um, as I mentioned. Now, how do we go about getting a screenshot which looks like that into a format which looks like this? Well, here's the trick. You need to go to a website called placeit.breezy.com. Um, and what you also need to know is, I've only been able to get this working in Chrome. Okay, so if you, I use Firefox all the time, won't work in Firefox for whatever reason, I can't get it working in Firefox. I'm gonna assume it doesn't work in Internet Explorer, but to be honest, you shouldn't be using that browser anyway. Um, so you need to download Chrome uh, and then go to placeit.breezy.com. I think you can see what's required here. Um, what we have along the top, this is an absolutely tremendous piece of software. It's so clever. Um, and it's done in your browser. Can you see all the different screenshots as I scroll across the top here? Okay, so there's a, a lot to choose from, including Android devices as you go further to the right there. We go all the way back uh, and select um, a particular shot. Um, these are obviously iPhone uh, 5. I think that one could actually be an iPhone 4, um, but you can actually tell by clicking on it because it does show you. Can you see here the resolution here? So the key, if we just if we select this one up here, it will load it up. It takes a moment or so to load. They're big, high-resolution images. Um, and what we're then going to do, if I just make this a little bit smaller, and I'm going to bring my uh, directory over here. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm literally, if I just move this over, just so I get it in the, in the screen capture, I'm going to select the image, and I'm going to drag it onto this iPhone. Now I'm not going to keep, stop the recording, I'm going to keep talking over the top of it so you can see this happening in real time. 
Um, it's calculating um, exactly how to scale and rotate and crop and uh, just change the, the contrast and different elements of the photo and it will then place it directly on the screen. I'm not doing anything and there we go. It's as simple as that. Um, and it looks absolutely perfect as if it was on your iPhone. What can you then do with it? Well of course you can save the image or you can just simply copy the image, go into PowerPoint or whatever it may be and hit Control V or Paste and that image will then appear um, in your slide. It's downloading it at the moment. It's um, you know it's a uh, two or three hundred uh, uh, K as an image if not slightly more and then there you can see a fantastic image um, which you can then use to your heart's content. Okay I'm going to do another one now just to show you that wasn't a fluke. <laughs> um, we're going to grab one this time for the iPad so I've selected a completely different image at the top. Um, I've got another image which I've actually taken on my iPad Okay, um, I've done exactly the same thing, so it's exactly the right resolution um, for dropping onto the iPad here, and you can see exactly the same thing is happening. Um, it's just calculating all the bits and pieces, and just going to drop it straight onto that iPad for you, um, so that you can then take it and use it as you see fit. Um, when the little wheel stops, it just uh, goes blank for a second. Don't uh, don't adjust your sets; it really is going to happen, and um, you can see computing power that's required for this. And notice it also says we deleted after five minutes so you need to make sure that um, uh, you grab it straight away. So copy the image and go into PowerPoint. Let's just move this one away um, and paste that image um, which will go over on the top here. Can you notice also we've got a landscape one. There we go. So let's, uh, let's just put this image here. Again stunning. Absolutely stunning. Uh, so perhaps the final uh, example just to show you you do need to uh, make sure that you get it right from um, uh, if, we, if we actually choose a, a landscape um, iPhone shot here, so if we choose this one for example, you do need to make sure if I grab this one here, um, you need to make sure that you, the image you've taken is is obviously landscape or portrait so it fits on. This is uh, an email from our customer thermometer application um, which you should check out by the way, we should be sponsored by customer thermometer really and um, you'll see it just drop on there, beautiful, it takes a little bit quicker that one because it's a smaller image and again you can, um, uh, well it's the same one we've got down here in fact. So there we go, it is as simple as that, it really is an absolutely <laughs> tremendous tool um, and uh, we're going to keep hunting out in the next uh, set of advice sets some more interesting uh, professional looking graphics tools that you can use without the need for Photoshop.